I'm Michael Hainsworth at the Toronto Stock Exchange, learning what innovation means to Bay Street. Hi, my name is Denny Lipkin and I am the Innovation Sector Head at TSX and TSX Venture Exchange. It seems like every time we meet, you've got a new promotion. Well, you know, I must be doing something right. In my opinion, the innovation sector would be comprised of three sectors specifically. Companies in the technology, clean tech, or life sciences space. So cannabis, esports, technology, are your colleagues jealous you get all the cool industries? I mean, it's really fun because I grew up playing Mario Kart and finally get to relate to gamers in the industry and speak the same language as they did. So for me, yeah, it's quite interesting. What's your high score in Mario Kart? I was more a uh, battle, battle royale and I would always dominate, uh, always making sure that I get the uh, red shells was really the key in getting the stars as much as I can. And I was also very good at laying out bananas in sneaky little places. Oh, what's the big red shell in the equity markets today? The big red shell is finding, you know, the next Shopify. You know, it's finding that big winner that is just going to get a huge return overall. How do we avoid the bananas? Doing your due diligence on companies and ensuring that those companies are geared for success. You know, that's what we try and do here at the TSX is to ensure that the companies that come to our marketplace are set up to grow and that we can help them as much as we can, not just us, but the entire Canadian ecosystem. I think we just have such a great support ecosystem here in Canada where we have bankers who will support companies at all stages of the life cycle. And that just doesn't mean just giving them the financing. You know, we have companies getting analyst coverage at $100 million. We have companies who are being able to get in front of institutional investors. We have this great ecosystem that supports companies at 50, 100, and $1 billion. The TMX Group has a unique two-tiered ecosystem where companies are going public at a much earlier stage than they would anywhere else in the world. So we have companies like Canopy Growth, for example, went public on the TSX Venture at a market cap not in the billions and has grown over the last five years to be a multi-billion dollar company. We had Solium Capital, which uh, was recently taken out, was originally a TSX venture company that graduated up to the TSX, grew to be a plus $1 billion company and taken out by Morgan Stanley. We constantly see companies in Canada going public earlier than they would anywhere else in the world and grow to be those tech unicorns. So what does the go public activity look like in the next year? I think we continue with very strong momentum in the IPO uh, sector. Obviously, 2019 has been very good with uh, Lightspeed IPOing and the performance of Lightspeed overall. I think a lot of people are seeing that in Canada, there is huge demand for tech companies going public. And this has not just been Lightspeed, but over the last number of years, including Shopify. And I think a lot of the CEO founders of the next wave of big tech companies in Canada are looking to those examples of what is possible in Canada. Are you a Mario or a Luigi? I'm actually a Yoshi. Ha, ha, ha.